CBS 46 working to get results for one family afraid of their own home. They say Stonecrest apartment is covered in what appears to be mold and management refuses to address the problem. Our Ashley Thompson went looking for answers today. The story is actually taking her to College Park. OK, that's where you are live. Why are you there, Ashley? Yeah, first Stonecrest, then Roswell, and now College Park. And we're here because this is one of the addresses listed for property management. But take a look at this. As you can see, this is nothing but an abandoned building. This place was actually shut down by the health department this year. Not a great sign for the tenants we spoke with today. As you can come down here, you can kind of smell that it's moldy. Brenda White can't seem to clean her Stonecrest apartment fast enough. As time went on, then stuff just started spreading all over our clothes and things. She says her place is being overrun by a substance that appears to be mold yeah, from the mold. kitchen. All on these, these little black spots right here, this is mold. To the bathroom and bedrooms. This is mold all over the blind. Okay. We paint it over like this stuff right here. We have to keep, we at least wipe this down twice a week. Like White tells me she's had to throw away much I'm of her stuff, but some things she can't part ways with. I had a daughter that passed away in 2005 and I kept like her shoes, I'm show you that. I got mold all over her shoes. White says property management refuses to fix the problem and won't return her calls. So we went looking for them. We first stopped at the Roswell address listed for Pacific Holdings. No one was there, so we went to a College Park address, which turned out to be a vacant apartment complex. Our calls and email to Pacific Holdings have gone unanswered. I want to be compensated for all my stuff that I had to throw away. Like they say, renters insurance, renters insurance don't cover mold. We checked with CBS 46 consumer reporter Harry Samler, who says if an apartment is uninhabitable, you may have grounds to break your lease. You want that paper trail in case you end up in front of a judge and you want to say, hey, look, I told them on this date that we had the problem with mold. I told them the place wasn't habitable. I told them to correct the problem and that if they didn't correct the problem, I was going to move out. And that's exactly what I did. Yeah, so document everything and we will continue to try to find someone with Pacific Holdings. Meantime, we did contact Stonecrest Code Enforcement and we've learned they actually made a stop at the White's house this afternoon. They say they will be doing air quality testing inside of her apartment. I want to tell you, Harry says to check out the Georgia Tenant Landlord Handbook to know your rights if you are a renter. For now, I am live in College Park, Ashley Thompson, CBS 46 News. Some good